Hello everyone, my name is Sean, welcome back to the channel, and today I'll be reviewing tent number 76908, LEGO Speed Champions Lamborghini Countach. The set contains 262 pieces and retails for £20, or I believe around $20 in the US. In front of the box we have the Speed Champions logo, we have some really nice scenery in the background, and then the Lamborghini Countach in the front. On the back of the box we have a rear end picture of the car, and also a real life car, and also the Lamborghini logo in the top right corner. Alright, and yours is set all complete, and this thing is absolutely gorgeous, except for one thing I'll be talking about a little later in this review. But yeah, I absolutely love the, like all the angles and like how smoothly this sort of like came together. It didn't feel as complex as like other sort of like speed champion sets. Build for this just felt nice, like it felt right. I did do an entire sort of build series on my channel if you want to go and check that out. Yeah, the build for this turned out absolutely gorgeous. So on the back we have a sticker saying the name of the car and then we also have like these exhaust pipes using these clip pieces. One thing I did notice though is this set doesn't give you a number plate, so that's a bit weird. But the tail lights on this thing turned out absolutely gorgeous. I love this technique. Like, how they've used, like, the cone piece and then they like, angled these sort of slope pieces to sort of, like, match it. It's just, it's just a great technique. And, yeah, well done to the designers on that because, like, it turned out absolutely gorgeous. Then we have, I believe it's, like, a spoiler or, like, a bumper. I'm not quite sure what this is called, but it's attached using these sort of two clip pieces. There is some sticker sort of detailing uh, here, which, it turned out nice. Obviously, like, it's a shame it wasn't prints, but, I mean, like, it's fine, I guess. Like, it adds a lot to the set. Then these two sort of, like, chunks, like, on the edges, they angle, which is a really lovely technique, and, yeah, def definitely adds, like, a lot of, like, shaping and, like, smoothness to the car. Then here we have like a sort of angled plate with like a grill and also a tile piece. And on the sides we do have this sort of like technique for like a door handle I believe this is meant to be. I'm not quite sure but yeah that looks really nice. Alright and then we're about to move on to like my biggest issue with the set and that's this piece right here. The print for this turned out absolutely horrible. Like it feels more blue than white. Like it's just atrocious like this literally ruins the set for me in my opinion so when lego advertises this it looks white but in person it looks more blue than white like it's absolutely hideous and i really hate this when it comes to printing on lego the james bond aston martin had the same issue where the gray just strip didn't match and it looks absolutely horrible all right in the fronting let's just quickly sort of get back to like reviewing it so for the interior we have like two seats for two minifigures uh, we have a steering wheel, we also have like a joystick, and it has a really nice red colour for the interior, which I really like that sort of style choice. Then we got these two corner tiles, sort of representing uh, mirrors. In the front of this, I really love this bit, so they pretty much just got these pieces and it just angles this pretty simple build. For the headlights, I thought it would be sort of like brick built on the inside. The orange and white detail, I thought they'd do with like a sideways building technique. They've actually just gone ahead and put stickers and then like transparent pieces over the top. But yeah, this assembly, like, it is pretty simple, but then like, when you angle it, it starts to look really nice and smooth. On the wheels, uh, they're pretty much just like standard Speed Champions wheels, and then the, the sort of rims on the inside, those are prints, which is really nice. So yeah, overall, like, I'd say this is an absolutely gorgeous set. I feel like the designers did such a good job. Obviously, like, it is a massive sort of letdown with the printing. I really wish LEGO could have done a better job at that. And also, like, on the pictures, so, like, on the box and the LEGO website, it looks bright white. It looks like it matches the colour, but in reality, it doesn't so i guess that's false advertising also in the set you do have one minifigure in which he's got a really nice lamborghini jacket on and yeah it is quite a nice figure to be fair but overall if like 20 dollars for this is a good deal it's just the print is really putting me off i can't lie so yeah if the print doesn't really bother you i'd highly recommend the set but if the print like really bothers you then i probably wouldn't really recommend it unless you're gonna like display it on like a shelf that's like a long sort of distance from like your eyes then you wouldn't really be able to tell but let me know your thoughts on this set in the comments below thanks so much for watching appreciate a like subscribe to all that stuff goodbye